This morning's Coffee With is with Kristen Cavallari. And the satellite interview is furnished by Hoover. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome one of America's greatest overachievers to the morning edition, Kristen Cavallari. How are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Thank you for having me. But, but it's true. I sit here and I look at your resume. I, and I say overachiever with all due respect, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm acquainted with three or four astronauts, and every one of them shares the same exact trait. They're overachievers. I mean, you're doing you fashion, <laughs> jewelry, uh, 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 family tips. Name it. You're doing it. How do you pull this all off? <laughs> well, thank you. Um, you know, my husband and I have a great partnership. We really, it's sort of worked out that during the football season, I don't work as much and I take on, you know, more of the, the parenting role. And then during the off season, um, it's just kind of worked out the way that, I, that it's usually when my work kind of picks up and he takes over the parenting duties for the most part. So, I don't know, we're lucky that, uh, that it's kind of worked out that way. Yeah, well, and I, and I understand that, but given the projects you were involved in, um, you can't say, okay, football season's over with, now we're going to start a new jewelry line. It's still got to be, it has to be, your brain is turning 24-7. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the good thing with the shoes and the jewelry is that I can kind of make my own hours and work on them from anywhere. So, you know, I, I am sort of looking for inspiration on a daily basis, and I'm constantly bookmarking things and screenshotting things and all that stuff. So that when I need to actually out. sit down and just... <laughs> yeah, but when I need to actually sit down and design a specific collection, I'm sort of ready to go because I've been, I've been sort of collecting all sort of all sorts of inspiration for for months. Gotcha. Let's talk because uh, we're right in the middle of football season. The Ravens are, you know, this is the year that the uh, injury voodoo doll has bitten us. It is what it is, but people still get together. It's camaraderie. It's community, and it's putting together parties for football. How how do you? Look, you cannot, there's no way you can sit there relaxed and watch the Chicago Bears play. How do you pull off a party with friends and family <laughs> at your house? Do you just go in another room during the game? <laughs> no, no, I actually love having people around. You know, I think it's really fun. My, my family lives in Chicago, so they usually come over, and I have a lot of friends that come over and bring their kids. And so it's a little chaotic, but it's really fun. We just sort of embrace it, and everyone's yelling and screaming at the TV, and it's just a ton of fun. Do you worry about healthy food on game day? I'm looking at these suggested questions, which I always, my daughter's in PR, so I respect somebody doing these. I usually pay no attention to them. But, I mean, do you really even, if, if, you, throw a, if you throw a home party, and it's like, hey, it's all healthy today. How many people do you think are really going to show up? For the, I mean, I usually just have, it's usually under 10. So, I mean, it's, I'm not having some huge rager, let's say. You know, it's usually just a few, a few adults and then a couple kids. That's it. But it's, it's like, how do you put a healthy spin on game day food? Hey, this, this dip is healthy for you. <laughs> Forget it. I mean, you know you have a good time with it, right? <laughs> Well, no, I mean, I definitely look at football Sundays as a sort of a cheat day and to, to indulge and, and enjoy the food. However, I do make a healthier version of spinach artichoke dip. Instead of using cream and, and cheese, I use coconut milk fat. Um, I do, like, bacon-wrapped butternut squash and stuffed jalapenos, things like that. And you can actually find my spinach artichoke dip at hoover.com uh, slash blog. The recipe is on there, along with other tips for hosting a game day party. Say that, say that address again, hoover.com, H-O-O-V-E-R. H-O-O-V-E-R dot com, Hoover dot com slash blog, yeah. Cool. Hey, wait, when's the book come out? I've been hearing about this book forever. I mean, they, you've gotten a lot of great advanced uh, publicity. The book comes out... <laughs> the book comes out March 15th, but it is available for pre-sale right now at balancingandheelsbook.com. You know, that's what I thought. So there is a holiday pre-sale going on. Yeah, it went on, uh, started on pre-sale in September. So, yes, it, it's on pre-sale for a while. <laughs> cool. I'd ask you, listen, I, uh, our time has run short. It's, it's been great just hanging with you. It really has been. Um, good luck with the rest of the season. <laughs> I know you. you guys, uh, uh, the family is growing. Good luck in everything you're doing, and I mean it. Congratulations on being an overachiever. And I say that with all due respect. I just rank you up there with a couple past commanders of the International Space Station, Reed Wiseman and Terry Verts. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.